Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. In today's episode, we are returning to the town. The, the wow, words. The town hall project. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got back from a trip to Wisconsin, actually. Well, not just got back. I got back, uh, like, late Sunday night. And, uh, it's now Tuesday. It, unfortunately, Monday I was feeling pretty, pretty bad. I had, like, a really nasty headache. Um, like, one of those headaches that's so bad that, like, your vision is blurry and you're, like, kind of dizzy. And, yeah, it was not good. Um, so that's why we didn't have this episode yesterday. But... We're back. We're back, and it's good. And I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling much better than I did, but I'm still not feeling amazing. Um, so you'll have to forgive me if I feel a little, or if I sound a little, uh, bleh, if you know what I mean. But uh, what I want to do in today's episode is I want to do some work on the interior of the town hall and kind of try and get this all sorted out. Uh, we were joined last episode by Scar, who kind of helped us out with a few things, and I want to keep working on this. So I think the first thing that I need to do is kind of divide this up into rooms, and then I want to get a staircase in here, and I want to kind of work on the ceiling up here, because this looks pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> so that's the plan. Um, I think we'll start, I'm probably going to need more bricks than this. Um, aha, bricks. Awesome. Okay. So let's start with some walls here. And I think we're just going to kind of divide these up maybe about here. Hmm. Maybe here. Yeah, that should be good. Do I want to do it there, or do I want to divide it here? I'm kind of thinking maybe here. Let's just lay out a bit of a floor plan. Maybe that's what we should do, is rather, before we put the full walls in, let's maybe try kind of dividing this up. Let's see, this would then be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that would give us an odd number, which is probably what I want. So I'm thinking this will be kind of our main hallway. And then we could maybe go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we put a wall here and this becomes kind of a back office of some sort. And then we'd have like a doorway uh, maybe here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Okay. And then right here, we'd have a door. And then probably a door like here and here. And then the staircase will go right about here. So that should be good. Uh, let's grab ourselves some spruce stairs. I uh, don't really have a whole lot of spruce stairs. That's all right. Let's make some. Um, let's make... Ooh, those are bricks. There we go. Let's make some spruce stairs. And we want this to probably kind of plateau right about there. And I'm thinking maybe even like a five wide staircase. Let's just see if we do this, where would this staircase start? Probably, ooh, I'm kind of thinking I would start about there. Well, that's not terrible. That's not horrendously bad, actually. Um, and then it would kind of come up here and maybe instead Maybe instead of making it five wide, maybe we make it three wide, but then it'll have like a border like here, right? So that could work. Let's clear out a space. Let's get rid of the bed. Uh, do do. And kind of bring this down like so. And that should work. Something kind of along those lines. And then here we'll maybe just kind of bring those around. 
like so. And then we just need to kind of bring this up. And essentially just mirror this like that. So this would be kind of our upper level. And then maybe we'll have like kind of a balcony here instead of having this whole thing all kind of closed off. Maybe we end up with a bit of a balcony situation, which could be good. Um, let's try and sleep. I, uh, uh, I think it was false. Put something in the Discord chat saying single player sleeping is broken. So I don't know what the deal is there. Apparently something broke on the server and it doesn't want to work properly. Um, so maybe what I should do is just for the minute, let's just put a door down right here. Um, probably going to end up going with a dark oak door once it's all said and done. But for now, we'll just do that just to kind of uh, wall that off and make it a little bit better. And then maybe we go, uh, let's see. Maybe we do something like this to give us a, a little bit of a thing there. And then we'll do something different in these spaces. I don't know exactly what yet, but basically we're just going to... to and so on and so forth like that and that'll give us kind of this uh this stair shape here which i think is good oh and now things are breaking we broke it there we go all right so we do something like that i'm missing something ah, there we go got it okay so this would be kind of our staircase that leads up and I think that's all right. Let's see. You walk in. Yeah, got a staircase there. Okay, so that's fine. Now, in one of these, I thought I had... Ah, there we go. I got. Eh, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. But we'll see. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, maybe it will be. Maybe it'll be just enough. If we do that, how's that feel? Eh, it's okay. I don't like this underside, though. I think this looks pretty terrible. But maybe what we could do is have some other, instead of these stairs kind of sticking down, we could possibly do, like, slabs of some sort? I don't know. Hmm. I don't really want to just have... Something like that, maybe? No, I don't like that either. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. But it's not horrible bad. I think it's a decent start. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the walls in here. We'll just kind of bring those like so. We said that's going to be a door right there. So we're just going to kind of section these areas off. And let's see. And that'll give us, that'll basically divide this up into smaller spaces to fill with interesting stuff. That's basically the plan here. There we go. And if we, actually, if we have a wall right here, we could do a couple different things. Maybe, actually, that might be an option. Let's try this. Let's kind of get this all walled off properly. And then we'll try. I want to try something here with these bricks. Let's just finish 
that up. Almost done. Do 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 do. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We've got kind of our wall sections in place. We've got a big room over here. We could also potentially put a doorway into each of the rooms like this. So there's multiple ways to kind of get in and out. This can be some sort of, this could be maybe like a meeting room or something. Uh, but we've got then these different spaces that we can fill. I don't want to put a wall here uh, because even though it would be nice to divide this up into even smaller rooms, uh, I don't like having the window pane directly online with a wall. So I don't think I want to do that. But let's try one quick thing here. Let's put a couple torches down like so. And let's just see, how would it look if we had this walled off right here? If we just did something like that. Uh, this I don't like right here. Although if this was a balcony, Instead, that wouldn't actually... Oh, but then that wall would have to go all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to work. I don't like that. Okay. So, that's not going to be a thing. We're not doing that. It was worth a try, though. A big part of building, as I think I've said many times, is just trial and error. Sometimes you have to kind of try something out, see if you like it. And if you don't, then you get rid of it and you go back to the drawing board. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Very rarely in a build are you going to get it completely right the way you want it the very first time. Whew. Must be very hungry because it's taken me a really long time to eat. <laughs> All right. Um, let's also maybe try something like this. Maybe we bring those out just a little bit more. Put those fences down. That's not bad. Got our walls going up there. I'm trying to think how, what I really need is some dark oak, just a little bit, uh, and I don't really see, I don't think I have any on me, unless I've got some hiding out here, and I don't, tell me I've got rockets at least, I do, go away skeleton, there we go. Uh, and let's hope that I can fly. There we go. Sometimes with the server lag, and right now Tango's on, <laughs> so I'm guessing he's working on some super ridiculous redstone contraption, and that's probably why I'm getting a little bit of server uh, issue lag at the moment. But what I need is a little bit of dark oak, so let's swing into the log fellows real quick. And let's just see if we can steal some from here. Well, not steal. I am a, I am a log mason, so it's not really stealing. But you, you guys know what I mean. Let's see if we can procure. That's probably a better word. See if we can procure some, <laughs> some dark oak from over here. There we go. Ah, I love the way that looks at night. I, man, I think this project is really kind of coming together. Uh, it's, it's nice. I like it. Uh, okay. So, let's go like that. And let's, oop, not boats. I don't want a ton of boats. I do want some dark oak slabs, though. Let's try this out. Because I was thinking maybe what we could do is something like this. And just kind of see how this looks. And this might look completely trash. Or it might, it actually doesn't look too bad. That's not horrendous. Get a little bit of the spruce kind of peeking out, but I don't think it looks super terrible. I kind of like it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, now, we do need to get up here. And we got to get a roof in. And I think what we're just going to do is keep this really simple and get a roof up at this level like so. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
Come on. Just get that up there. Come on. Oh. It's like my elytra keeps trying to activate itself. Uh, and then I need spruce slabs. There we go. And what I'm going to do is that. And then I'll just grab an ender pearl. And I'll just ender pearl myself up here. And then the rest of this will be easy because I can just do it from right up here. Like so. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, and I will need to light this up. So let me just put a torch down like right here. Because we don't want stuff spawning up here in our ceiling, of course. Uh, we're also going to have to find a way to make the ceiling look better. Because right now it has absolutely no depth. It's completely flat. Uh, and it's just not going to look very good in its current state. So we're going to have to do something about that as well. Ooh, I hope I have enough slabs. I might not actually have enough slabs to complete this. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to. Um, ow. Let's just make... Oh, come on. Let's just make one more batch. There we go. That should be good. And then you can see this is kind of what the ceiling's going to look like, which is not great, but it could be a lot worse as well. Uh, we'll do something, some sort of design in the ceiling or, or something like that to kind of make this look more interesting and make it look better. I think that's going to be kind of a key thing that we do here to improve the build. Let's just kind of bring that over like so. And like so. And like that. There we go. So now we actually have a ceiling in here. So that's closed off and we don't see all that horrendously ugly, nasty stuff that's way up there. Because it looks pretty bad up there. Uh, and I just realized I forgot to light up that top portion on this last little chunk. So let's just get rid of that. And I'll just plop a torch down right there. And then maybe we'll just stick a couple over in these kind of in-between bits as well. Just We just want to make sure that this area is lit up. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but it needs to be better than it was. So, uh, and that can actually just stay. Because it's all hidden. You'll never know it was there. It's our secret. There we go. Okay, so that looks all right. Um, now, if we make this into a balcony, we'd probably go right here. Uh, let's see. Let's think about this for a minute. Because we've got that. This would have to come out a little. We'd have probably another spruce log here and here. And we'd probably connect those up with fences. Let's maybe peel this part away. Just so we can kind of get an idea Ooh, that is an issue there. Because it's... Oh, I forgot that it's thinner up here than it is down below. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the balcony is not going to work. Maybe the balcony idea was not a good one. I think we might have to leave it like that. I mean, not that this is completely terrible. Like, I could live with this. It's not super bad. We could do something like that. I'm just trying to think how I would divide this upper room. Because we would want to do something with this space up here. I suppose... Suppose we could potentially take a brick wall. Let's just put these down over here. 
so I can divide this up. We could potentially take, let's see, one, two, three, four. That would be three. I could potentially do a wall right there. And then have this be an office of some sort, maybe. Although I'm not really a huge fan of that. This, we'll get rid of these spruce logs over here, because I don't think those are necessary. Hmm. Or maybe we just have a, a nice open floor plan here. That could be all right, too. And we can put a variety of desks and cabinets and stuff like that up there. That wouldn't that wouldn't necessarily be all bad. I'm just trying to look around and, and kind of get a feel for this. I don't know what we would put under here, though. Hmm. The other alternative... Well, no. No, I don't like that option at all. Never mind. I'm not even going to mention it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I think this has a good flow to it, like a good feel, for the most part at least. Come up around, in, you're presented with the staircase here, larger rooms here, and in the back, we got maybe like a conference room of some sort, first floor divided up here, this is kind of like the main, the main, uh, Entrance way. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not like in. Uh, I'm in interiors are really not my strong point. Interiors are one of the things in in Minecraft when it comes to building that I really honestly kind of struggle with. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like bad at them. Like like truly bad. But I'm definitely not great at them. There, there are much, much better interior designers out there than me. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. I don't think this is that bad, though. I think we can work with this. Um, I also think we need to kind of do furniture in here, and I think the furniture kind of has to be dark oak, like for desks and tables and, and stuff like that. So, you know, for example, if we want to have like a little couch right here, I think it kind of has to be dark oak. Um, and we could do, you know, something like that or, or maybe, maybe we bring this all the way up against the wall, like, uh, no, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do, stair. There we go. And then do like a little coffee table here. You know, like I think that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll match that over on this side a little bit. Like so. Uh, that torch would have to go. And we can do maybe a little coffee table or something. Um, desks, let's see. Maybe we would have... Hmm, maybe we put a desk right here. And this is maybe like the receptionist's desk. You know, you come in, you, you want to do something, you speak with them. And maybe, maybe we even do the same thing over on this side. Have two... Two desks for receptionists as you walk into the door uh, or walk into the, the town hall. And then there's this area back here, and I really don't know what we would use that for. I don't think it's too bad, though. I think this is a space that we can work with and kind of develop into something better as time goes on. If you have ideas, please let me know. But guys, unfortunately, I am out of time for this episode. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a rush to get this video done because, as I said, I was kind of sick yesterday, so I'm 
behind schedule <laughs> and I want to make sure I get a Hermitcraft video out to you guys. So I'm going to call this one here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.